Elon Musk said today that we will be driving in uh, Tesla robot taxis by the end of next year. Uh, he mentioned that uh, during uh, the three, four hour long autonomy day that uh, Tesla held at uh, their headquarters in Palo Alto. Tons and tons of technical information was thrown at us. I'll, I'll give you some highlights, but let's talk about this um, self-driving Uber-like service that Elon said is coming very, very soon in the near future and we'll be actually making money with our cars if we want to. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. And of course, I want to say happy Earth Day uh, to you guys, but mainly to Earth. Um, I love this picture over here uh, that um, we did a photo shoot a while back. There's a behind the scene uh, video on my channel. We've done quite a few of them. I just love this image because... Kind of it's a harmony between the nature, the humans, and the technology. So uh, anyway, happy Earth Day. And what a day to pick to do a self-driving, um, basically, seminar, <laughs> uh, you know, for Elon Musk in uh, Palo Alto, California. There were quite a few different announcements, and we'll we'll get to the robo taxi in a second. Now they talked about how they've created this best self-driving chip in the world. Um, the uh, the and it, it it might be. It's really hard to say, right? Because. Unless you're very, very technical, uh, it, it's really hard to say because the chips can operate at a very high speed, uh, process a lot of operations, but your software might be wasteful and not work with it very well. So, but nevertheless, you have to say that obviously designing hardware and software with the same company, much like Apple does, definitely benefits uh, the product. There are some other issues with it, obviously. And uh, now NVIDIA was the previous provider of that chip. And then overall, NVIDIA has been pushing a self-driving chip for a while now, um, you know, Elon and and some of the uh, some of the uh, some of his staff were really were talking about uh, how superior uh, Tesla chip to Nvidia. Though Nvidia had to fire back afterwards, saying, "Hey, you misquoted some of our specs, and it's actually much faster than yours in some ways." Um, you know, I, I, you, you can look at it in, from both different ways because you know. It's not like NVIDIA is just going to be making these chips for everybody. Of course, they will probably work with different manufacturers, uh, automakers uh, to customize their chips for some specific needs for some of their software that people do that all the time. So it's it's not correct to assume that NVIDIA is just going to, you know, stamp those one by one. Um, so, you know, uh, they've shown us a demo of the self-driving, uh, which I'll show you also in a second. Um, they were talking a, quite a lot about path prediction, saying, well, you know, see... Uh, uh, we predict the path of this road, even though that path, that, that part of the road is not really seen. I didn't think that that was actually necessarily wow type of a factor because it's kind of like, yeah, if the road is curving, probably it's going to continue curving and it's not going to left and right all of a sudden or up and down. So to me, that wasn't that is I, I would have much rather seen some of the uh, other things that they were um, that, that you could see, like how the car and that identifies the stoplight and how they the, the stop sign, the three way uh, four way stop signs and stuff like that, you know, a more complicated scenario. But, the you know, prediction of the path, I don't know if I was that excited about it. But listen, I, you know, I don't want to I don't want to like take away from the fact that they have made a major, major step in software and hardware and what's possible now that wasn't possible, you know, a year ago is definitely very exciting. They also said they're making this uh, chip at a 20% less cost, and that's how they're financing the whole uh, operation than before they're making it in Austin, Texas with uh, Samsung. So that's um, that's definitely a, 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 a in, in, interesting development. I don't think this is information that uh, we, uh, we knew uh, from before. Um, I'm just looking at my uh, notes. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. So they also mentioned that in two years, Tesla may not even be making steering wheels and pedals because these cars will be driving themselves uh, or at least they'll have an option. Um, and uh, so he did mention that uh, the... Um, oh. The hardware is already being installed, I believe, in Model 3s for sure. But I think in all Teslas, they've been doing it for over a week. So if you bought a Tesla in the last uh, week or so, it has all the latest hardware. Obviously, if you already bought full self-driving uh, feature from before, your computer will be replaced. I don't know when. There's tons and tons and tons of those cars. 
you know, the service centers are already overloaded, but we've talked about it. I'm just saying don't hold your breath. Um, but let's get to the whole robot taxi coming by the end of the next year, because this is kind of the most exciting thing. Uh, and, and so let's talk about it. Before that, I want to remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byte. And check out the all electric and Byte coming to the US and Europe next year. In 2020, starting at only $45,000, look at this five screen interior, including the shared experience 48 inch screen. Uh, don't forget to make your reservations. It costs absolutely no money in about 30 seconds of your time. Uh, go to Byton.com. That link is also in the description of this video, but you better hurry because there are over 50,000 reservations in the world. So get yours today. Okay, so let's talk about the robot taxi. Here's an app that they've showed. Uh, basically, uh, you will be able to um, say, okay, my car's you know sitting in the garage all night or all day I don't mind it being used as a you know taxi as an uber but instead of you driving you being an uber driver you'll just let the car drive itself and uh, earn money so essentially your car will actually not only pay for itself but will actually give you a little bit of income um, now you know Elon said you know we'll be able to achieve this by the end of the next year and I kind of believe him I believe him, but he said it's, you know, obviously um, uh, going to be up for the approval of, uh, of you know, different jurisdictions, different uh, local governments and so forth. But he's believed that by the end of 2020, uh, there will be at least one jurisdiction, he calls them jurisdictions, um, that will approve it. So I guess the, you know, it, it will be ready to do that, but at the same time, it might just be in like, you know, one city in Arizona like Waymo is doing right now. Uh, but we'll see that's he also did admit that he's not always on time uh and it's you know ironic because the presentation itself started 40 minutes late but he did say that listen even though i'm late i still do deliver when i promise and you know it's funny that they actually the, this chip uh was promised pretty much around this time so it's one of the few times when they actually delivered on time uh now whether or not they're going to deliver it by the end of 2020, I don't know. It does sound kind of fast. Um, you know, they've been making very slow progress in the last few years, ever since they've uh, uh, broken off uh, the partnership with Mobileye, which now is Intel, um, started developing their own. But it looks like once they figured things out, once they kind of set up the chip and the platform or hardware and software, uh, now they can really kick some butt. And I've seen a couple of things that they already possible. And it is definitely very impressive and it's huge improvement. So let's let's def definitely give them the credit where the credit is due. Um, so up to the regulation, yeah, uh, you know, and but but uh, here, here's another thing. And you know, would would you let your car, especially a nice Tesla, be driving around there with people driving, riding in it, who knows, spilling stuff, and God knows what they're going to be doing there in the, in, in the backseat of the car. Um, you know, for example, Waymo uh, self-driving cars without drivers right now being real, literally abused by other people on the streets. And there are videos of that because they're so careful right that they're slowing down everybody so i assume that same might be happening with teslas as a matter of fact even with a parking lot summon I, I i expect that you know some people will get really upset with those really 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 slow moving cars you know getting out of their parking spot and trying to ma find find their owners um so and and at the same time you know do you really want to you know you, your kids are riding your wife is riding in that car do you really want to have other people you know ride in between i think a lot of people might not but for those people who don't mind, then it's definitely something that they can uh, that they can do. Now we do know that there's a tiny little camera that's facing back into the into the uh, interior of the car for the Model 3s. Um, that way you kind of can monitor what's going on. So that makes me feel a little better. But on the other hand, of course, who's watching me when I'm driving, right? Where does that data go? We don't know. Can can it be hacked? So there's quite a few different concerns to uh, to still. Um, to still iron out by the way let me uh show you this demo it's kind of a, f a fast uh going demo but hey this car starts up and goes through a bunch of intercities stopped at a so stop sign following a pretty um interesting road this is actually around their headquarters so i've actually been on that road quite a few times um stopping at the light and then changing lanes getting on the freeway so you'll see this 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 it's it's pretty cool it's definitely amazing because the guy doesn't even touch the wheel at all right uh, this is what I think I would love out of my self-driving uh, features. Um, so, listen, 
it is amazing to see that it is now possible. There are some quite a few different questions that haven't really been um, answered. There's one thing that they were also talked about, you know, I think there was a question about Nvidia saying like, yeah, all of these millions of miles that Tesla uh, had in, in, in testing, it's great. But we have a simulation, they, and they do in video quite a few already for a couple of years, have their own simulated world for testing the self-driving so, uh, software. Now, I got to tell you, Elon's reply to that wasn't really good, I have to say. He basically said, well, if you can simulate an, an entire world, then that's an amazing achievement. And I really don't, don't think it's possible. But the fact is, they're not simulating the entire world. They're just simulating driving and roads and cars and bikes, which is really not that big of an undertaking. Um, and, you know, and Elon said, and he's right that, listen, there are some cases you can simulate, you can't even think of, right, uh, that happens. And uh, we do see them once in a while and we, um, you know, make our, uh, our software uh, learn. But then it's like, okay, well, then they can do the same thing, right, except for, uh, having the software learn, they basically recreate that in a real world, in a simulated real world, and then have the software learn. So I really didn't get a really good answer from from him where why the simulation from uh, uh, from uh, Nvidia or really anybody else uh, kind of n not better. To me, it's actually much better because it's you know, like they, like they said, you know, while you simulated a million miles, they can simulate billion miles in the same amount of time. Uh, and, you know, there, there are pros and cons. I'm just saying I did not hear a really good answer uh, from Elon. They did say that they have their own simulated world. But when somebody tried to press them on that, they kind of said, well, let's, we'll talk about it some other time. So I'm still going to still I, I, and again i've seen the nvidia's video and it's pretty impressive they they can simulate like even stuff that listen it's the same road right they're same conditions of the same road except for you want to see how what the reflections are on the road when the sun is you know not in the morning over there but in the evening over there right instead of having somebody drive on that road later on they can rotate the sun in like three seconds and get all of the test cases, right? That does make sense. It will still cover most of the cases because the roads only have so many, you know, potholes and patches and reflections and colors and all that stuff. So all of that can still be simulated like 99.99% chances. So I'm still going to give this one to NVIDIA, but I'm definitely looking forward to what you guys think, because this is a lot to unpack. Obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll probably do another video about it. Don't forget to sign up for our VIP list, uh, where we deliver weekly exclusive content that you can find on this channel or on our website. And I also want to thank one of my newer Patreons, uh, Mike Calderbank, thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. The only place where you can watch this live, be the first ones to see these videos. Thank you to Mike and all of my Patreons for supporting and contributing to my independent YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it, guys. All right, let me hear it. I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think of the whole thing. Let me also know if you've seen the whole presentation or just kind of read articles about it. It is kind of long and nerdy. But nevertheless, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Thank <laughs> you.